Okay. This is Dragon Lance. Okay. Start playing, Sam. In the strange smelling, smelling front room of the sheriff's office of Scorgrim, from John Belia sits. And John Belia says to you, Okay, huh? You like the cookout last night? None of you ate the goblin toadstool pie. Uh, I don't go for ogre food. Yeah, well, at least you ate that whole cow, didn't you? What? <laughs> you passed out on the homebrew shortly after. Damn. <laughs> Paladine shall not be pleased. All this while John Belia crunches away on... Uh, uh, wait, I, I, wait, I, I start taking notes. Apparently ate cow. <laughs> All this while John Belia crunches down on fried goblin eyes dipped in honey. Old ogre delicacy. He says, as, you're aware, as I'm sure you're aware by now, this village is ruled over by a lord. Not uh, a lord variety. Pardon. And in the east. His name's Bonky. Well, I don't know his real name. I just call him Bonky like I call her Pinky. You know, I call my great-grandpa Bonky. Huh, interesting. And you, who are you? I don't remember him, mind you. Bertha. Bertha McDurtha. Describe yourself, please. She's from Thorbarden, and she's a hill dwarf. That's all I've got. Yeah. And she's worshiper of reorks. That's all. Oh, it doesn't say what color my hair is, okay? No, that's for you to make up. Okay. Go with brown then. Got a little bit of a beard going on. <laughs> a little bit. I think. Yes, because my Christmas 12. Um, that's sexy for a dwarf. <laughs> Large ass. What? Large ass. On her chin. <laughs> but you can't see it because it's covered with hair. All right. Like the real ass. Bertha. Bertha McDurka. Mm -hmm. Your name is Ass Chin. Nah, I'll just call you Bertha. No, I'll call you Bert. It, it reminds me of the episode of Family Bert. Guy. Right, how did these get up here? I need... Mm. There's another village ruled over by the same lord, and sadly they are too Bear. small and too podunk, poor and stupid to, uh, to afford their own sheriff's office. So, but I'm needed here, so I'm sending you guys to deal with their problems. And me to bring back the records for the city council, right? Yes, and also to stab something with that little, uh, faggy sword you got. Wakidashi? <laughs> Wakidashi. It's all penis anyway. <laughs> Whatever you say, sir. It's a goblin pecker, damn it, that's what it is. I've fried him up before. I don't need him, that's more for the older, later friends, but still. <laughs> I see. Goblin penis aphrodisiac. <laughs> this guy's gonna be coming with you. Okay, come in, Barney. Barney, oh, Barney, oh, Barney. Chin <laughs> side. <laughs> out of the door, out of into the front door shuffles a man, and in nondescript-looking clothing. You've seen him in the herbalist shop. A Barnabas of milk thistle. Barney, there owes me a favor. I won't say why. And is going with you. You'll trust me. You'll want to have him along once you figure out why. Figure out what exactly you see. Why exactly he's useful. Hello. That before you isn't. It? You would be nondescript looking, except that he's rather ugly because of all the scars and premature wrinkles. His hair is a strange mixture of brown and gray, in which he, even with the wrinkles, looks too young for. Hey there, Mr. Milky Nipple. Okay, rule one. Anyone who calls me Milky Nipple gets a crossbow bolt in the ass. Jackass. <laughs> rule number two. Calling me Jackass will also result in a crossbow bolt in the ass. Ugly man is a dickhead. <laughs> rule number three. If you're gonna write about me, do it in a language I don't understand. Is not hasnin or slahinai. Try another one. Gis gong ga giderstein. Another one. Un mythas un asu. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Well, are we leaving? Or what? Come on, oh. milky nipple. <laughs> Bye, you guys. John Belay picks up a big jug of homebrew and singing. Oh no, the hero, they told him back home with a shotgun thrust through his eye. Well, actually, homo's naked. That don't help me none. <laughs>
that ass. <laughs> what are you doing, Scarlet? Nothing much. What are you doing? Penis. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, there. What? What do we have? Like in the back of a book. Anyway. What? Like in the back of all books, it has like 10 pages. They're just plain wide. It's like, why? Wow, you're wasting. <laughs> That's a disturbing first image. Um. Barnabas will tell you another. The village you're going to is on the coast to the south. About three days' journey. No, wait. Four days. Yeah, four days. Okie dokie. You. Why do you have scales? Do you have like psoriasis or something? My psoriasis is sexy. We have established this by now. You have some security issues, don't you? I'm the only shiny dragon person I've ever seen and or heard of. And read of. And any other kind of knowledge included therein. I've seen worse. Well, oh, furniture worse, metal worse, yeah. No, you haven't. No, I haven't. Okay, what are you guys gonna do? I don't know. I'm in the back taking notes as always. Okay, you scout planes okay. person. I'm gonna scout. She's scouting. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. Remember? I'm we 20 on a scouting check. You're captured Remember? by ogres and eaten. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Remember we found you in a brothel one time and you are like, I'm scouting! All of pride! Well, that's a 20. Not so far, to find no. direct, And then to stay on the path and get there without getting, well, and get about uh, two days in without getting eaten. And lost! Second, <laughs> second night when we're camping, and Big Barnabas pulls out a weird looking, weird looking black book. No one will disturb me, please. What's that? I want to read it. You don't want to. I want to read everything. You don't want to read this. I read everything. You do. Okay. There. Hmm. Hmm. Diagrams. Okay. Of what? <laughs> Are those plans for a giant bra? No. <laughs> That's the other book. I could use oh. one of those. <laughs> For your ass. <laughs> giant ass. I gotta write the giant ass bra. Hey, hey. That's my job. Don't be encroaching on my territory. But I have a friend who makes this stuff. No, I, I take the notes. I take the notes in this party. You can have them later. Okay. Medication for the pain of wearing a giant ass bra. Hey, that's my area. Hey, what's the critical range for a light crossbow? 19. Okay. Uh, that's the D10. That wouldn't be good. You take four damage. Ow! I shoot you in the leg. <laughs> I said, Ow. I take the notes in the party. Next notes, I'll be riding with your blood. Scuba something just eschaton! What did you do? Your fire shoots at your face. Okay. Hit. Yeah. None of this actually happened. You wake up screaming. Then <laughs> you see you've grown zebra legs, a tail, and giant bat wings from boobs. <laughs> and you wake up screaming again. <laughs> to find me next to you with my arm curled over you saying, <laughs> You don't wake up screaming this time that I do. <laughs> hey, baby, what's your sign? I'll try to get my <laughs> <laughs> you need I it. I don't think that there would be enough sleep in the world, and I'm not one to talk, I know, but still. <laughs>